everyone, welcome to Two Minute Truths, a quick fire into your remarkable academics about their research and academic lives. I'm Zoe Sutton. And I'm Ben Lomire. This week's special guest is Shanti Robertson. Shanti is a senior research fellow at the Institute for Culture and uh, Society at Western Sydney University. Shanti was awarded a PhD at RMIT University in International Studies in 2009. And she is currently working on an ARC DECRA project on temporality, mobility, and Asian temporal migration to Australia. Say hi, Shanti. Hi. Now we've got a bunch of questions for you, Shanti. We're gonna see how many you can get through in two minutes. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, let's go. Excellent. What should Postgrad start and stop doing this week? Okay, definitely stop comparing yourself to other people and start really considering yourself to be the expert in your own research field. Nice. Okay. What's one idea that you are excited about this week? Um, I'm actually still a little bit excited about a workshop that I ran last Thursday and Friday. It was exciting because it marked the end of a really big project and it was called Mobile Lives in Between, Rethinking Transnationalisms of the Middle. So it was really challenging and critiquing a few established ideas about middle class migrants and transnationalism and it was super interesting and super fun. Great. Now what's the best or worst thing a supervisor ever did? Um, the worst thing, I think he definitely forgot a couple of meetings and didn't show up, which wasn't great. But the best thing he definitely did was not micromanaging me or my work. And in hindsight, I'm really grateful for that. So how do you cope with negative feedback or reviews? They never get easy, really. But these days I give myself a bit of time and space to just have an emotional reaction, whether that's feeling like a failure, being a bit sad or even frustrated or angry at the reviewers. And then I just put the reviews to one side for a little while, maybe overnight, maybe a couple of days. And when I come back to them, I just try and look at them really objectively and focus on how they're going to actually push my work forward and make it better. Great. And with your last 30 seconds, what's one key idea you can teach us from your research? The idea of chronomobility. So this is the idea that if you have a transnationally mobile life, it means you experience time in specific ways. Great. And that is bang on two minutes. So thank you, Shanti, for joining us at 2MT. Thanks so much, guys.